finna turn in for the night so I wanted to show this for my second video and then I'll splice the other videos on into it if we look at that those are the times that I check the system today And that is where we're at. So I'm going to write that information down on the piece of paper. And that's where we at with the battery. And that's doing good. Okay, checking that again. So we can look at it and checking that I wrote that down and confirming it with the time all right we'll splice this into okay I'm checking the uh, apparatus this morning we are at 11 92 91 we're gonna mark that down. It is 6.52 a.m. And it is producing 52.6 watts back into the power. That one's doing good. That old unit, well, the one that uh, we just let cycle, it's on battery power. So that lets you know what this battery is compared to this battery, which is cool to the touch, like it should be. And this has been cycling longer than that one. That means this one is cycled a whole bunch of times and this one's still on its first cycle. And as we can see, we got to write down that it is 1190. All right, we're going to come back and check it a little bit later. Just wanted to make sure I wrote this down on a piece of paper so we can look at it. As you can see, it's Thursday, July 28th, and, uh, and it putting out 11 votes and 90 what well, 11 point 90 volts and it is 656 56 can't talk this morning and that one says 658 because i wrote it down a little bit earlier but just to reconfirm it okay that's when i checked it so we'll check it a little bit later and again, confirming today on the 28th, that's where we at. All right. Okay, we're checking this again. I'm checking it a little bit more frequently to make sure that it's not doing um, shorter cycles. We see that we're down to 1180, which it was, we're gonna write that down. And it is eight. Let's turn off this light and get the rid of it. Can't do that. Sorry. Uh, eight eleven a.m. on the twenty eighth. It is giving power. And to compare, 
because this is where this is at 12.7 which we seen earlier and this is now cycling as you see that right here is powering from the grid to charge up the battery so we know this one is on its way back up and this one is still just giving off power while charging at the same time and that is the information which we want to write down here we are at 11 90 okay just want to keep that short and we'll get back to the next one and check it again okay I'm looking at this and I've stood here from about 8 12 just watching this meter make sure that it wasn't doing a cycle that means turning off um, letting it charge and then turning back on but these lights right here stay just like it is is charging and discharging and it stays right where I need it to be so the time for that is 8 37 a.m. and I'm gonna mark that down so I know for a fact that that is uh, cycling in a small cycle but it's continuous we have our simulated uh, solar cell so it's taking it from the grid for right now so we know the numbers of the power solar cell that we need about a hundred watt solar cell to maintain that we're comparing it to this one which is still cycling up and the voltage on that battery is there so if you go back and look at the other numbers and write them down we understand that doing this with this one and the batteries are cool is allowing that to do what your cell phone does if you got low bars I don't know why it does that if you got low bars you plug your phone in and it'll charge all the way up while in use and that's what we want to do with this right here while in use I want to keep that battery charged and let it discharge which we have it here discharge at the same time so they call that pass through and then when we do the second um, experiment we just take this battery okay and we take this battery and loop it over here into the solar panels so we take that this right here and loop a wire over to this right here and then we go back over the test and let it run and that should take the power needed from our simulated solar cell okay and we'll check this and bring that number down okay and that's coming from the grid so this is where we get our data from this right here it should bring that up or it should stay the same that's just our load okay so this is the experiment that we're doing and how we are accomplishing the technology that I'm putting forth hyperlooping over unity which is an old technology hyperlooping is kind of new and uh, tricycle physics all are books that I'm writing on the experiments that I am doing all right okay we are just checking this right quick so I can mark this down and we're marking the time make sure we get that in there good frame okay 10 
8.08 a.m. Okay, so we got that in the frame. We are drawing power. Okay, we're checking it against this, which is still cycling up. And that's going to be cycling for a while. And the battery is at that. I think it was 13.1. It's 13.3 now. So that's going to be cycling up for a while. So that's about it. We'll check it again. And we're going to make sure that we put it on our piece of paper here. That is a 11, what does it say? 11, 87 volts. And it was 11, 87 in volts. And it was at 10, 09. Okay, so that's that's good. We got it marked down. Okay, it's a couple minutes after 12. Let's go see what all this system is doing. Turn on some light here. And we get our time. Five minutes after 12. And it's p.m. 12.05 p.m. What is our system doing? It's on the high end. It is cycling perfect. Perfect. Let's get the reading that it's still got a load on there and it's working beautiful. That's obsolete. That's just the boost. And the battery still cycling. And we're at... 1304 <clears throat> and we're still drawing about a hundred watts there this battery is doing excellent for 12 volts it hasn't even cycled this is perfect that is doing what it's supposed to do just like your cell phone does when you plug it in giving you energy charging the battery and you keep talking so if you don't understand this right here is controlling all the inputs and outputs and this right here is the load so this is what your phone will be hey you're talking on the phone so that's what this blue thing represents and this right here is the charge and all of it going in there to make the battery full so it doesn't go off all right, we'll check back. Let me write this down. Okay, I just checked it again. And uh, we want to confirm the time with what I wrote down. And there it is. About seven minutes after I checked it. But you understand that. And there's the voltage of the battery and all the other information for you guys to look still holding at six amps still drawing a current this one is still cycling and i did take it down to that actually i'm going to turn that up just 120 you know, about right there. Um, because this battery said it was rated for 175. So, um, again, okay. 